newbies. It's your pal Ken Heron here at Lady Liberty, the knockoff version, not the real one, in Birmingham, Alabama, and we're gonna learn how to fly a drone. What's that? You already know how to fly a drone? That's okay. Video's still gonna be entertaining for you. We've got bikini girls juggling flaming chainsaws at the end, right? Yeah, high five. First things first, the controller. What are these knobs? Well, this is the throttle, and you can go up and down. This is yaw, that spins the drone this way. This is yaw. This one is pitch, that makes the drone go forward and backward, like that. And this little piggy went roll, roll, roll all the way home. That makes it do this. The way I hold a controller, especially one like this that doesn't have a lanyard where you can kind of rest the weight on your neck, is rest it on kind of your palms here like this so where you can have plenty of fingers to do stuff because there's plenty of stuff to do with your fingers. For instance, try to avoid using your thumbs on stuff. I know you play video games where it's all thumbs, right? But if you want the small, cinematic, purposeful movement, you want to pinch. Pinch, okay? That's just the way I do it. You can do it your own. You can control it with your feet if you want to. That's not what I'm going to do because I want to get good footage. If you're holding it like this, you're going to have your other fingers free to control things like the gimbal roll. And that very simply moves the camera down or up as we go over here and we check out our cameraman. Hey, cameraman. This is a DJI product, but most drones will use the sticks in and down method to turn it on like so. Now it's on, it's not doing anything until you take off using the throttle up. Get it to a point where it's hovering, make sure it has enough satellites so that it stays in one place even if you walk away. Even if you put the remote control down and walk away. That little bugger will stay there, but you don't want to do that because you're the pilot in control, the PIC, and you want to be in control. I'm going to show you one more method of taking off with a DJI drone after we land it. Now this is the proper way to land it and turn it off. Never use your sticks like this to turn off a drone. Use the throttle, bring it all the way down, hold it, and it will shut off. There's another way to take off and that is on here on the app. It's automatic, you just hit that, hold this down, and it will take off and hover in space. These drones are so easy. And now I'll show you how to actually pilot your drone. So when you're practicing, you wanna be in a wide open field. You usually don't wanna have a very tall statue in your way, just in case the drone gets out of hand. Start with the camera facing away from you so that left is left, right is right, and all is well in the world. Remember, throttle up, throttle down. These automatic GPS lock drones will just hover in space forever. You don't have to worry about the throttle or anything else. If you get into trouble, let go of everything and use the right stick to bank left, bank right, Pitch forward, pitch back. Do that for a while and get used to what the drone is doing. And I'll just show you very quickly if you do that, that's what the drone does, <laughs> just in case you were curious. Yawing left, spins it to the left. Yawing right, spins it to the right. The complication comes when you wanna use a combination of these sticks. For instance, if I want to go up and to the right, I will use throttle up and roll right like so. Same if I want to go back down to the original position, throttle down, bank left. Okay. One of the more difficult things to do as a drone pilot is to have the drone facing you. Once you get that to happen, you're going to want to do things like one of those out and away rise selfie type things and there's automatic methods in the app that will allow you to do that with no skill at all. But you want to know how to pilot your craft without using those lazy, lazy methods. So get used to the fact that 
Left is right, right is left, up is down, cats are dogs. You know what I'm saying? Practice, practice, practice. First, bring the camera away from you. And by away, you want to angle back so it goes away. That's the opposite of what it would have been, obviously, if it were turned around the other way. Coming in for a landing, you're going to be piloting the drone towards you. Don't always use return to home. Return to home is really only for an emergency. Once you get used to which is which, then you can do things like pile it right towards your head without even looking, like me. I trust it. I trust it. We're good. You can land this one in your hand. Put your hand underneath. The sensors will scare it off briefly, but then just hold your thumb down and it will land right in your hand. Let's take off again and do one of those wonderful orbits we discussed. Again, sticks in to arm the motors and then throttle up. Make sure it's stable before you go racing off somewhere. This Lady Liberty is not actual size. It's a mini-me Liberty. So you're gonna be controlling yaw and roll if you wanna spin around to the left, like this. This won't be the most perfect in the world, but I'll show you what it does here. And it, it takes some practice to get to where you want it, and then you just hold it. Move the angle forward a little bit if you want to get in closer. I'm trying to do a nice slow one without hitting the flagpole there. So I'm going to come in. I'm going to move the sticks in a little bit further. I want to get a nice tight shot. Go up a little bit more. Coming in. Coming in. So there you go, that's, that's, that's pretty much it. Now, I'm gonna go the other way, but I'm gonna get closer to her uh, flame and then kind of do a spiral out. I'm gonna start slowly the opposite direction. So you're gonna yaw out and roll right, while at the same time bringing the angle out a little bit. So I'll be kind of that way with this stick while I... So the, <laughs> the little camera I had on here, the battery died because it's a little camera, it has a little battery. But luckily I have this big battery of a guy gonna show you my stick movements. You got it? You ready? Got it. All right, so we're gonna go this way. Slowly. Coming out like a little spiral. You can even go up if you want to, if, you, if, you're, if you're brave enough to go up a little bit. And then at the same time, use your finger to bring the camera down a little bit like that maybe. It takes some practice. I haven't done this actually in a while, but that's, am I teaching them properly? Am I, did you, do, 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 okay. So those are the basics. It's just a matter of, getting your muscle memory so that you can do all this without actually thinking, what do these sticks do? Oh, I don't, I forget what the right is the left, and the left is the right, up and down. And now, since I'm such an expert, I'm gonna bring the drone in and land it right on top of my head. Think I can do it? Oh, come on, have a little confidence. I've never tried this before. But I think it can do it. Yeah, it'll be fine. Remember kids, don't do what Uncle Ken does. Oh, that's nice. Oh! Ah! <laughs> okay. Well, that was a bad idea. Everything else I taught you, please take to heart, but that whole landing on the head thing, no. No, no. That was, that was a bad idea. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Until next time, buh and bye. <laughs> Hello, newbies. 
It's your buddy Ken here. What's that? I'm not your buddy yet? Well, go ahead and subscribe. Then we'll be buddies. What? You want to be a member? <laughs> now, now we're best friends. What's that? You want to give me a kidney? <laughs> okay, I'm going to adopt you. Hello, friends. It's your buddy Ken here with a... That was Philip Cochette.